In this video, I am going to talk about when you share a Power BI dashboard or report which uses a pro functionality or uses a pro feature, the viewers that you share it with, do they need a pro license? Well, what if, if you're sharing internally or if you're sharing externally or you're publishing to web? I'll answer all three in this video. So here we have a report uh, dashboard which uses pro functionality and the pro functionality that I'm using here is I am using groups which are a paid or pro feature and what I've done is I have shared this with a colleague of mine uh, right here class at obviousing.com so again this is internal this is the same domain so this account you can see is me at obviousing.com and I have shared it with an uh, internal user class at obviousing.com and you can see that as soon as I click on this report it says no 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 can do you gotta go pro otherwise you can't use it it doesn't even open doesn't let me do anything so if you go back to our uh, our matrix here we have the answer for the first one that you do need a pro license if you share internally a report or dashboard that uses the pro feature any viewer needs to have a pro license now let's jump over and we're going to talk about publish to web uh, i think this is going to be obvious to everybody but i'm just going to show it to you so publish to web works at the report level so we're going to dive into the report and go to the file menu and say yep go ahead publish to web i can embed it but for now i'm just going to grab the link and i'm going to start an in private session and yes, this, of course, make, does what it says. It publishes it to web. It's completely public. Anybody can see it. They don't even need a Power BI license. So technically, when you're using the PowerBI.com free account, you do have a free license. You don't even need for that uh, anything. Uh, you don't even need a Power BI account when you're consuming a report which has been published to web. That's the intent behind it, and it works flawlessly in my mind in that regard. So let's go back to our third scenario. What if you share a pro report externally with somebody outside your organization? So we're back to our dashboard again, which uses a pro functionality and I'm going to click share. And I'm going to share with somebody in an external organization. And the way that is determined is really the domain name. So here I am at obviousing.com if i share it with any user outside of that domain it's going to be considered an external user and power bi is going to warn me about that all right so let's go external at and again this is just a different domain name and notice as soon as i hit tab it warns me about it say hey you know one or more emails is outside your organization that's good i know that and I'm going to uncheck this, check this one, great, and say share. So the user you shared the report with would get an email and they can just click to open that link. Now what's important is that it's going to ask them to sign up or sign in. That either for either one, they sign up or sign in, they have to use the same email address that you had shared it with. If they sign in using a different address, or, or sign up using a different address, it's not gonna let them in. So let's go ahead, uh, this user already has a, a, a license, so let's sign in as a user. And that's it, they see the report and it works. Gosh, so this user does not have a pro license, uh, but if somebody shared the report externally with them, it can still work. I wasn't actually sure what to expect but this scenario works now i want you to be aware of this uh the way external sharing works is that notice that there is no kind of left nav there's nothing to expand and they either have to go back to the email to open the report again or they have to bookmark this url and visit it that way if they were to just navigate to powerbi.com and sign in then they're not going to see the report notice that this this user doesn't see the report doesn't have anything right now actually so anything that's been shared externally with you you either have to bookmark the URL or go back to the email and open the URL again but 
it's kind of cool and amazing that you do not need oops uh, wrong one you do not need a pro license for the viewer when you share a report externally so that's my report for today this was a question that came in from one of our students in the class learnpowerbi.com so mark thank you for your question hopefully this helps you out and other others who are watching this video as well